Hey guys, you know I just acquired Iron Dream Ball Python from my Ball Python from Dan, and that snake is amazing. And I know people kind of message me saying, "Oh, it's not that bright, it's not that orange, yada yada yada." And I did mention I am using an iPhone, which I don't have the best lighting in here. This ain't a natural sunroof <laughs> bedroom. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you a little comparison of a normal to the Iron Dream. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I actually put a picture of this normal with my uh, orange dream. So hopefully the snake will stay in a nice little ball. As you can see, this is the normal. And this orange dream is a definitely an A++ quality orange dream. And I'm definitely not BSing you guys. And you can just see, I hope the camera's showing it. I definitely hope it is. You can see the oranges, the flame, the blushing. Look at that, guys. Look at those saddles compared to those saddles. Yeah. This, that alone just tells you <laughs> the difference. On Dream, normal. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a really short video, and this is a little comparison video, and a quick little update on the Iron Dream. Uh, this Iron Dream is sitting at 350 grams right now, and just loving food. And this normal male is just loving food and just staying here. <laughs> um, but again guys, I really hope I can get this Iron Dream up to size this year. I have a bunch of females. I'm not going to try to force him at all. I'm not going to try to hurt him at all. Or, you know, enlarge any type of hemipenes or do any damage to him, I am going to selectively breed him, and I have a few females that are uh, teeter-tottering around 1,200 to 1,300 grams, so I'm hoping I can use that group of females and use him and just wait a little longer in the season, so I have my pretty much two groups of breeding this year. Uh, my first group, will, I will make a video on that, and my second group will be involving him. As always, guys, have a good day.